<laughs> Guess who's back? Back. Beard is back. Back. Again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess. How's that? that? That's it. I know that song now. Yeah, it's Eminem. Yeah. I like Eminem's and Skittles. Jeff's back in the office today, and we are updating a project for Premiere Pro, and holy shnikes, it looks like the new Premiere update is letting me uh, play back footage. I'm not kidding. Do like I'm playing back 10-bit real-time. Real-time 10-bit? Real time 10 bit. So, large probability you're probably watching E3 videos. That's what I've been doing all day. Got a beer for it. But we wanted to talk about a new update that no one's talked about here on Inside Crash Show, and that's going to be the new Premiere Pro update that is allegedly going to allow us to play 10-bit files back from the GH5 directly into Premiere Pro without any transcodes. Let's take a look, shall we? We can drag a selection. This is, as you can see over here, this is a, um, a straight Cinema 4K 150 meg uh, file, 150 megs per second file, 23976, and the frame size, as you can see, is 4096 by 2160. That's the real, real deal. Just gonna drop this uh, clip on. Keep existing. There we go. So what we'll do is we're just gonna drop a few on there and see what happens. Um, we plucked. Again, some of this is just really behind the scenes. We did use the GH5. You can see lighting wise, we weren't playing to the lamp very well. Um, we just grabbed some pieces here and there uh, and just made it work for what we were trying to do. So here's the interesting part. So notice, I'm gonna drop a 2997 piece. Sometimes I like to do this for like a really kind of like softer slow-mo sort of walk, not, not nothing really crazy. It just adds just like a couple of beats to it. Since we still don't have 48 frames a second, which is my preferred way of doing things, I'm even gonna drop, uh, let's see, I got an MP4 piece. That's probably, well, something has gone wrong yet again. All right, so I'm on my fifth time of trying to make this video to show you that the new Premiere Pro update works with GH5 footage. Uh, I'm on a Mac, and thus far, I've had no luck whatsoever. Every time I load something, it ends up crashing, um, going straight in. The only way I've been able to get it to work is directly on, the, on a timeline that is set specifically for the image, meaning if I try and take it to a 2398 timeline, it freaks out. If I go any other direction, uh, it doesn't work. So me and Jeff are just sitting here drinking beer, trying to drink away our sorrows. It looks like for us, at least we're gonna stay in the transcode method because it's just, it doesn't seem stable. We don't know exactly how to, how to fix it or unfix it. I mean, it's just Premiere Pro just locks up ever since that update it is literally destroying it. So just be wary. Um, I'd love to give you a review video and give you tips and stuff, but we can't right now. So what we're gonna give you is hang up shot so short video just be wary before you update because now we're screwed inside craft show we're eft edition guess who's back and then i look so good guess who's back 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> i got it i'm back <laughs> i got it wait i got it you, you can do it you can do what you're doing guess who's back 